Number eight, to encourage my partner in her or his healing efforts and not to hijack or manage those efforts, but to support her in her management of them. I don't entirely know what your role in helping her in her recovery will be. You need to be a loving couple in your partner marriage relationship. But what is for sure is each of you have a separate path to take and to travel in your recovery. You should each be there encouraging each other, but you can't take it over. You can't hijack. And therefore for a female partner, where there's a male with sex addiction, she can't help you in your recovery other than being alongside you in a supportive way. But in terms of helping you with tools that you need to use, etc., she really can't help you in your recovery. It's a choice which you will be making. Number nine, not to seek assign blame for the problems in your relationship but rather to acknowledge there are problems and you both need to work together to solve those problems problems existed before problems existed even with sex addiction there's no real merit in continually assigning blame one to the other this is one aspect of trauma to the couple relationship that needs an individual to recover from and the other person, equally traumatized, have their own journey of recovery as well. Assigning blame may not be the best way forward. There comes a point where you have to just acknowledge there has been trauma from the behaviors you may or may not have made a decision that you want to stay together, but there's a journey of recovery that each of you will have to get over the trauma of the revelations and of course the behaviors of sex, porn, love addiction. The next one, not to allow a single compulsive urge to go unchallenged. I may not be able to control those urges, but I will never allow them to evolve into destructive action without putting up a conscious fight. What that clause is saying is that you will have a form of audit trail to show your fight back, to show that even though you were triggered and later on you did succumb to the triggers and you did act out, you need to be able to show to yourself that you really did take some steps to fight back, that you really took steps not to act out. It's important that you can show that to yourself. Look, the problem is you're not going to be able to avoid triggers. You're not going to be able to avoid urges. But you can make a decision about whether you act upon those urges. There's something about you can't stop the birds flying over your hair, over your head, but you can certainly stop them landing and making a nest in your hair. The urges will come. A female partner won't want to know that you're getting urges, but that is the reality of someone who has sex, porn, love addiction. The urges will come. The triggers will come. The important point is you do not succumb and you certainly show a trail where you've done this, you've done that, you've used the recovery tools to try to fight back, even if you subsequently do succumb. The next one is to ensure there are no hidden relationships, accounts, magazines, telephones, files. I often call this the little black book where there are entries that have been made secret phone numbers, email addresses, whatever it may be, you've kept a note of those things as a part of the acting out behaviors. And this is a, a, a part in the recovery plan where I need you to give some thought to, have I written down any secret passes, email addresses, 
phone numbers, names as a part of my sex addiction, porn addiction, love addiction behaviors, which I need to locate and destroy. This is the one and only time that I would be asking you to look into that. And it is based entirely upon trust and honesty. There's nobody else that you'll be kidding by not finding and locating the, 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 the information. You need to do that for yourself. You need to find and destroy the information so you can't access those particular sites, people again. You might be missing out, what do you think? Over 36,000 downloads of the Sex, Porn, Love Addiction podcast in just two years. Take a look.